Hey everybody, I want to bring you a uh, quick little cemetery visit that I made during my trip to Indiana. Thank you all so much for joining me here and we just hit 15,000 subscribers. I just want to give a quick thank you for that. Follow and subscribe for more. Today we're visiting the grave of Kenny Irwin Jr. And Kenny Irwin Jr. was born August 5th, 1969 and he grew up in nearby Indianapolis uh, he began racing at a young age and really he rose through the ranks of the racing world very quickly. He made it to NASCAR's top series in 1998 and immediately Kenny Irwin Jr. became Rookie of the Year. Unfortunately, during practice at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, Irwin crashed violently into the wall causing his car to flip up on its side. Kenny Irwin Jr. passed away from his injuries on July 7th, 2000. Today we are in Oak Lawn Memorial Gardens here in Fishers, Indiana to pay our respects and we're taking a look at his marker that does highlight his accomplishments. It also talks about, you know, other than a racer, beloved son, brother, and friend in addition to race car drivers. So I'll, I like the uh, inscription on there, he dared to dream. and. You know, he did, and, and he made it, and unfortunately, he lost his life uh, doing what he loved to do. But we were in Oak Lawn Memorial Gardens, like I said, in Fishers, Indiana. I have done uh, another visit from this cemetery as well. If you remember visiting Francis Farmer, the Francis Farmer video that I did, she's buried in a mausoleum on these grounds. Again, this trip to Indiana was snow-covered for me. I just wanted to give you all a few looks at the actual cemetery itself. Uh, very flat where we are, and uh, mostly in the section we're at, it's, it's all flat markers, and you know maybe in other sections there are uprights. I'm not exactly sure on that, but definitely a beautiful time to be visiting. But I remember this particular incident, and I remember when this happened, and just what a shock that it was. And there was another death at the same speedway. Um, Adam Petty passed away and it was they were they both passed very close together but you can see a picture just a young man he was only 30 years old and he was uh, you know about a month shy from his 31st birthday so yeah I was actually uh, watching NASCAR somewhat during the time that this happened and it was just a shock I mean it was uh, very unfortunate very tragic and I do believe that his parents started some sort of charity foundation in his name and the race that happened after he passed away the winner of the race actually was Tony Stewart and Tony donated the trophy from the race to the parents of Kenny Irwin Jr. but you know this was a, a very sad visit I mean we're talking you know 21 years ago almost so in a way it seems like it's been a long time ago but in a way it just seems like that time has flown by but I just wanted to bring you this visit, this short visit that I made to his grave and pay some respects to him, a very talented man, very talented individual. Just want to bring some honor today to Kenny Irwin Jr. So glad to be able to visit his grave today and, and pay my respects here in Fishers, Indiana. And I'm going to leave some links in the description where you can find me. Uh, I would love to know if you've heard of Kenny Irwin Jr., if you have any memories of him, or maybe this is the first time you've heard of him. Uh, please leave that comment below for us. I'm going to leave links in the description where you can find me. Also, if you haven't subscribed, I've got plenty more cemetery visits on the way. And I do want to uh, thank you all for joining me. This is just a little quick visit to pay our respects to Kenny Dell Irwin Jr. Beloved son, brother, friend, race car driver. 